Hello. Welcome to the ASMR channel. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Oh, oh. Hello. This is totally not the second time that we're doing this. Totally not the second ASMR of the night. <laughs> uh, there we go. Everything is back to normal now. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully nothing went crazy, nothing went awry. I have been wanting to play Subnautica for a really long time. So let's jump in. All right, is that a little bit better? Oh, and it's space. It's not Earth. I see the nub of my neck. <laughs> I have a neck nub. I set the FOV to 90, because that's usually what I said for most games. <laughs> but I have a neck nub. <laughs> Long live the neck nub. So I should just use the exit pod? That's terrifying. Okay. Is this kind of like, what? what's it called? Well, okay, okay. Did that thing just explode? So I'm guessing it's just, I gotta survive. I gotta survive. They really just throw you in, which I am not complaining. <laughs> I'm actually okay with that. Acid mushroom. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay. So I can't go too far. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> These bolt the boomerang. Can I just throw it? Oh. Another one. Did I? Am I procreating these in my pocket? <laughs> oh, did I have multiple? <laughs> I love that there's a <laughs> just a ship burning in the horizon. I'm just like, yeah, this is fine. Like, have you ever been to McDonald's? That's I guess like, <laughs> a good place to. No, bladderfish! <laughs> I was gonna use you as a, a pee container? Detecting increased local radiation levels. Okay. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay, so I'm guessing that the, the driver core is somewhere around here. I'm just kind of going around. I don't even know what I'm doing. As long as I don't die. And ooh. Ah! It's one of these explodey dudes! <laughs> They're kinda cute though. <laughs> it is really interesting though, a game where you are always moving in three dimensions. And they got it pretty nicely. I don't think I've played a game that really focuses on like 3D Oops. movement in this sense. Like you can go up, down, left, right. Usually you are just walking horizontal movement because like the only the last game I can think of that had a lot of it was uh, Anthem <laughs> which was horrendous and it did not feel very good to like to no I, I don't need it oh, oh no this is just very intuitive <laughs> in comparison I don't think. Oh, look at that big guy. Is it? <laughs> I would not survive in the wild. <laughs> like, look at the big thing. Let's go after it. Look at him. Whoa. Is that bad? Oh yeah, that looks. That doesn't, that doesn't look very good. And uh, oh, that guy just going to the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. That guy's just picking it up. And dropping it down. That's interesting. He's kind of showing me where there's stuff. Interesting. That's kind of a cool way of doing that. Oh, and the oh! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's not good. 
<laughs> I have a bunch of fish. I don't know if I want that necessarily. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> just fabricated the bottle. What ingredients am I using for this? It's just a fish, <laughs> but I'm making a bottle out of fish. I wonder if I can do anything <laughs> with the fish. Fish, fix it. Fix it. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. <sighs> I should never, ever have the flares bound to anything, because <laughs> I'm just going to waste them. I, I think this thing is dead. It's not moving. I feel like I'm not gonna read most of these. <laughs> Knowing myself. I feel like that's one thing in every game. They have like this crazy data log entries description of every item. And some people go into that, and that's really cool, you know, for those people, <laughs> I guess. Just because that's how, you know, you get the, your game theory type videos, and just people who really understand the lore. And like, I, I'm more on the side of, hey, I like watching your videos, people who do that. <laughs> I'm not into doing it myself. I get there, I need to carry anything. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Okay. So... Is that the end of the game if I don't do anything about it? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna run out of space. Yeah, I'm gonna make one of these and I'm gonna put it right by the ship. like a dolphin. Dolphin man! <laughs> he flies up. The dude flies. Dolphin man! Can I do this? Can I go... Uh, switch container? And now that it has four things in it, I can... Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, did I maybe need to... Maybe I needed some radiation protection. Was that a thing? Is that a thing I could have done? <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm supposed to use the beginning hours of the game. Can I build a radiation protection? No, I can't. Okay, so I'm probably supposed to take the radiation then. Oh, it's killing me. Uh-oh. There you go. Thank you for watching. Let me get rid of some of the trash and watch it roll away. Rolling away at the speed of... So I can't approach it. Should I move away from it? I guess I'm going towards the ship isn't the idea. Do you guys have any ideas? I feel like that's kind of like something. I could... Oh, they have the sea glide. You know what? I'm just going to go for that. Even though I said I would have no interest in de deep sea exploration, I would love to use one of those to just go exploring. Like underwater, so it's kind of conflicting. <laughs> alright, alright, here we go, here we go. How'd I do this? How'd I do this? Oh. Open data box. Compass! Do I get a compass? Oh, I can make a compass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Should I... I feel like I should be inside the pod. Three, two. Did I die? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
I'm not gonna mess with that. <laughs> Those things can fight on their own. As long as <laughs> that thing is not coming for me, I'm okay. I also love that in games, whenever they have, like, you know, creatures just interacting with other creatures. I think that that's so amazing. It's like, it, something that a lot of games, I feel like they're, a lot of studios get do it a lot more now, too, but a lot of games don't really care about NPCs interacting with other NPCs as much. I love this thing. <laughs> and I like that you can still grab stuff. And this makes no sense. It's completely out of the water, but it's still... <laughs> uh, wait, was I actually going any further? Or... I can't tell. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. With this thing, I can get all the bladder fish. All mine. Give me your bladders. Oh, wow. I'm finally getting... Oh, you can't get me. I got a thing. No, they can't get me. They're back to being cute. <laughs> I love, I love that the things you throw out, they stay. It's been a long time since I threw some of this stuff out, but they're, they're, <laughs> they're still just rolling around down here. Base pieces, so I can start making a base. Oh, they're not very expensive. Yeah, building a base is actually, it sounds like a, like a good idea. So I can store all these things. Like I mentioned before, I am a fan of, like, story being told through what you find and stuff like that. I think that that's really cool. I hope that this game kind of keeps that in an amount that maintains my interest and I can keep going. Because I'll definitely keep playing this game for sure. I feel like this game probably has so much for me to see. It's... I feel like I'm just scratching the surface because clearly, you know, we're at the coral level. Definitely gonna have deep ocean stuff. Like, I haven't even gotten close to that. I'm very much surface level still. When you run out of space. <laughs> Are you serious? I have too much stuff. Make more lockers. No. I, I need to make a base. The base. B -b 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 I guess I can make a locker. I wish there was a, a way to for them to show you that they're full. <laughs> Person's probably this is dead. From the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Um, how about no? I'm. I can't. Well, not yet. I. I I'll come to save you. Uh, but. I. <sighs> I can't even manage my own thing right now. Ooh, I wonder where this one goes. This is such a little detail, but it, I think it's so well done that they have these little tubes that you go through, because it, again, it's, this game is so well designed in the sense that everything kind of makes you want to explore more. And I have been really enjoying it for that. I'm kind of worried <laughs> the screen is shaking. What is around here? <laughs> oh no. It's getting real dark. I feel like I'm gonna turn. And there's gonna be something right there. Okay. Can I go up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, you. You're finally awake. That's hard to see down there. The reason why I came close to the ship, I was hoping to find some more stuff here. A lot of it is just metal salvage. I wonder why it's shaking like this. Oh, oh. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> A little spider! No, oh no. Come on. Try to move. Try to be quick. Try to be slick. Come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is not good. This is not good. I'm not being slick or quick. What? 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 He's flying! <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that that's supposed to happen. Back into the water. 
Or I can swim. Okay, I need to go back. <laughs> I don't have any fluid to intake. Oh! Oh! Okay, good! Good! No, we're... We're, we're gonna book it. Is that a creature? Usually big creatures, they don't make them, like, aggressive. Like, really big creatures. I, I just need to go. I just need to go. Where is my ship? Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm running out of everything. This is not gonna be good. Okay, I need to find... I get too distracted. I love discovering new things. That water. Vital signs stabilizing. <laughs> I guess I wasn't joking when I, I when said to Erica that the moment she left, I was gonna start forgetting all the things to survive. Oh, that's cool. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Artificial. Whoa. This is cool. This is cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up because I'm not gonna have enough oxygen. That's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope it was an enjoyable stream. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot more, and thank you everyone for coming. I really do appreciate it. It's, it means a lot that you're wanting to spend time here with me, so yeah. Have a good night. <laughs>